So it's official. The people that went down to see the wreck of the Titanic have perished. One of the deceased was the owner of this company that was taking tourists down to see the wreckage of the Titanic and the other passengers apparently paid something to the tune of 200,000 or is it 250,000 dollars US dollars to uh, for the pleasure of boarding the submersible and taking the flight down to see the wreckage of the Titanic. Um, saying this but it's all over the news i'm not saying anything that's new obviously it's a tragedy and to even talk about it so soon i'm a bit um, nervous about it um, to make much of this uh, sounds uh, dishonoring disrespecting uh, their lives and the loss of the families of these people but in the family group that i'm in on WhatsApp, a lot of my relatives were saying, why? Why this waste of life? Why do people do this? Why do people risk their lives? And uh, for, it, it seems a reasonable question to ask. It seems a reasonable question to ask, why risk your life going down, I don't know, is it four kilometers under uh, sea level to see the wreckage of a ship that went down more than a century ago. I mean, the folklore of Titanic is legendary, of course, even though there are so many other ships that sank um, from that era. And the sinking of the Titanic was not unusual, except, well, except the owner said it was unsinkable. That, that's why it was uh, such a momentous event. So there's still this uh, romance to the Titanic, to the legend of the Titanic but um, it, why this waste of life why do these dangerous things uh, to to go below the sea four kilometers and yeah it's a good question to ask why did Edmund Hillary climb Mount Everest and <laughs> by doing that encourage many other people to follow in his footsteps and actually lose their lives. So these people that have sunk at the bottom of the sea are going to be left down there. Many, many people that climb Mount Everest and die in the process, they are just left up there to um, be buried in an icy grave. And there are many, many other people that do dangerous exploits in exploration and lose their lives. Why? Why do this? And it seems to be um, um, that the most risk takers are billionaires. Uh, you've seen Richard Branson jump off uh, the side of a tall building with a parachute. There was that other billionaire in America who lost his life while flying across America in a hot air balloon. And it, uh, you know, Elon Musk is involved in a uh, a space project. He's put up satellites through his company, SpaceX, I think it's called. But why? Why? And to me, uh, the answer is simple. This is part of being the image of God. God has given us this earth for us to explore. God has given us this earth to subdue. God has given us this earth to fill and to subdue and this is part of our dna even in the unregenerate uh, i'm surprised actually that the unregenerate seem to have um, a keener sense of exploring uh, than the regenerate uh, billionaires unregenerate billionaires like exploring far more than christians and it shouldn't be that way. This earth belongs uh, to God's children. Uh, you know what the Beatitudes say? Blessed are the meek, for the earth belongs to them. Or they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. This is God's world and has given it to us. This is Christ's world and has given it to us. Uh, 
Imagine if my dad owned a castle and he gave it to me as an inheritance. And I decided that I'm just going to live in the top floor. Well, maybe not even the top floor. I'm just going to live in one of the bedrooms on the top floor. I don't want to explore the rest of the castle because there might be ghosts or there might be spooky skeletons or there might be spiders. That would be a waste of an inheritance. That would be a absolute waste of an inheritance. God has given us this earth. The earth belongs to the meek, his children. And we are supposed to explore and enjoy it. And of all people, of all people, it's Christians that are supposed to delight in exploring the world. It's Christians that are uh, supposed to delight in looking at the wonders of the world. It's Christians that should be climbing mountains, Christians that should be plumbing the depths of the oceans, Christians that should be uh, pushing for space exploration. This should not be the job of governments, especially, especially uh, evil, unregenerate governments. This should what Christians delight in. This is what Christians should delight in. The earth is the Lord's and its fullness. Christ has authority over heaven and earth. God has given this world to his children. I uh, know this will shock some people, um, but the creation mandate, mandate still, still is in place, still is in place. God has not changed. This earth still belongs to his children. We're supposed to subdue and explore it. We're not supposed to have this almost Gnostic idea of thinking uh, we are not of this world. We are of a heavenly kingdom and this world does not matter. Well, actually, this world matters. This world matters so much so that Christ has authority over it. So much so that the earth belongs to God and um, he has chosen to give it to, to the meek. So rather than dismiss its value, rather than think, why do people waste their lives exploring the earth? We should be thinking, how can we explore the oceans safely? And I'm not an expert on ocean exploration, but it appears that um, the people that went down were cutting corners, or the company was cutting corners. I would want to see a Christian billionaire saying, right, let's do this properly. You want to see Titanic? Uh, you want to see more than just Titanic? You want to see the ocean floor? Uh, you want to see the Mariana Trench? I know nobody has gone down that deep. It's just waiting to be explored. It's just waiting to explore. Uh, nobody has been to Mars. Nobody has been to the surface of the sun. Uh, perhaps one day a Zimbabwean Christian billionaire will send a mission to the sun. I know you think people will burn up before they get to the sun, but the Zimbabweans are going to do it by night. Uh, I hope that there'll be Christian uh, billionaires who are motivated to subdue subdue the earth to fill the earth to enjoy the earth but this should be the attitude of every Christian I we should be we should marvel we should marvel at man's ingenuity this God-given drive to explore the earth this God-given drive to subdue the earth which even in unregenerate minds still exists it still exists i'd like to see this drive redeemed in the regenerate christians so that we actually delight in subduing the earth so that we actually delight in filling the earth with delight in climbing the mountains and i get it i get it most of my relatives who are saying why this loss of life are women and women want to nurture, women want to protect life. Women want to say, oh, don't go onto the road, it's too dangerous. 
Don't go and play football, you might break a leg. Don't go jumping off that cliff. I, I get it, I get it. But, Christians, Christian men, Christian boys should explore and never stop exploring. A risk is right, as John Piper says. A risk is right, you should live on the edge. A risk is right. Anyway, that's all for now. <laughs>